All right, guys, we're back here at the 2020 ATA show. I'm here with my good buddy Keith Beasley from Canada and Rough, fellow Canadian, and uh, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's always good to be here. Yeah. I think this is year <coughs> 16 for us being at the Archer Trade Show. Yeah. It's exciting. A lot of things going on. We got a lot of new products. So it's always funny when we cross the border to come down and the truck. The guy's looking at the truck, looking at the stickers. So why are you coming into the U.S.? We're like, oh, it was an industry trade show. He's like, so what does that have to do with you? We're like, well, there's new and exciting stuff every year, and we want to know about it. So <laughs> Hunting and fishing. Yeah. yeah. Right here, I'll show you one of our new crossbows. This is the um, Axe, or sorry, no, the Micro 340 TD. TD stands for takedown. You'll remember last year we introduced this feature here. Basically, you can pop the front end off and uh, disassemble the bow in right. a second. This one's a little stiff, but she'll come. But you guys have used these things in the past, and uh, this is great for any kind of throw your bow in the back of the truck, you're going to the camp, take down little duffel bag. and We fly with them like this. Yeah. So they'll go in, instead of taking a crossbow case on the plane, it'll go right in our clothing bag and put it in the middle like that and be protected. But even when we're going, honestly, Rob, we put that like even we're going out on a deer hunt 20 minutes away we'll take them down yeah. to get it in the backpack and get it into the stand and just snap it in completely convenient this one here is in one of your favorite patterns real tree timber you've got it completely suppressed comes with the four quill arrows tac 100 scope a super quiet little bow that's the part i think is the most exciting all these components and rubber pieces on the suppressor is so exciting that that bow when it goes off is so quiet that we've had animals hit and not even really move and stand around, look around, because it's so, so quiet. You know the bow is quiet when you can hear the arrow actually hit the Exactly. Them. So this one's a little stiff, needs a bit of working, but she's good to go. I'm actually going to show you another bow. This is one of my favorites right here. Here, I'll pass it to you. Thank you, sir. This is the Assassin 400 takedown model. This is... This crossbow combines all the best technology that we've had in the last five years. We wrap it all into one crossbow. I know you guys have been using our bows for a real long time. You're familiar with an awful lot of what we do, but from this bow here, you have the um, adjustable butt stock. You've got the true fit stock, the cheek piece. You've got the built-in silent charger, crank system, slide and catch, pro shot trigger, TAC 100 scope suppression system you know last but not least you also have quick lock technology and the best part with this Keith is this bow is doing 400 feet per second it's a powerhouse and an unbelievably compact package guys look at that I don't even know if people realize how fast that is we keep talking about feet per second but 400 is blistering like, unprecedented for those of us that have been around your bows for 20 plus years to reach 400 in this package, to have it this narrow. Because yeah. a fastball for Excalibur back in the old days was a wide bow, you had to watch where you move it. And this it was 350. 350 was yeah. extremely fast. So yeah. to go 400 with this narrow, I and this crank on it, I mean, I, it's changed the game. Yeah. Well, I've been noticing uh, you guys uh, on Sportsman Channel doing a lot of hunting. I'm pretty sure I saw your son shooting a bear. In the U.S., yeah, it airs in Canada actually this Sunday. Okay. Um, one thing we're very proud of and excited for our viewers to have always known is the kids have kind of grown up with us being part of the show. Yeah. They've always come along on hunts, but they've never been able to hunt. So this right. year, my 12-year-old, who did all his hunter safety, came on his first road trip with Dad, and we went up to Thunder Bay to Dog Lake Resort and had an unbelievable week of bear hunting and walleye fishing. Yeah. And uh, he shot his first bear, you? just the two of us. Yeah, how did your wife uh, take that? that well, your we, son was going we to have five, camp? so I think she was excited to lose one for a week. <laughs> no, she she asked me lots of questions of how yeah. safe he'd be and it, whether I'd be in the tree with him. And yeah. he was so excited, I don't think she could even argue. It. But, you know, here here we were with my 12-year-old son sitting in a tree on an amazing May bear hunt in northern Ontario. Yeah. And to watch him shoot his first bear, yeah. I, uh, I had a tear in my eye. He had a tear in his eye. And I know it sounds ridiculous. Yeah. I didn't know how I'd feel about it. I was so proud of him and he was so proud of himself that uh, it was an unbelievable moment. Yeah, that's awesome. I think you've got some footage we're going to watch, yeah. but I think the crossbow is, is such a great tool to use for not only guy, a guy or lady, but for kids to get out and enjoy it as well. So 
Caden, my 12 year old son, shoots this bear. Uh, three days later, we switch and he's hunting with me every day. I shoot my bear with the same bow. I come home, my dad, who's 68 years old, I hope he doesn't get mad at me because I'm wrong on the age, takes and goes on his bear hunt from literally three generations, that bow. Yeah. And it's not like it was four little kids or four old people, it was the bow I would have picked and used. Yeah. And that's the thing, like crossbow hunting has changed archery hunting for so many people to be able to get out yeah. and enjoy it. All for the good. And here, here's my 12 year old son, who practiced relentlessly for hours, but makes a heart shot at 22 yards on a, on a black bear. Most of us yeah. would think 12 years old, he'd be rattled. Here he is, used the bow, knows what he's doing yeah. and makes a great shot. So That's exciting. Yeah. I think we've got a clip of that video. Let's take a stops. We did it. What a father-son hunt that is, buddy. That was awesome. How excited was he? He, I don't know how well the viewers could see it. That's the first time for the Canadian on it. See that. He literally looked up to me crying and like yeah. the tightest hug. I mean, I'm proud of him. He's an incredible kid all day long, but to watch and share that moment with yeah. him, I, I would encourage anybody, whether it's a crossbow or a gun, to get out and hunt yeah. with your kids or what's, a young person. What's really cool about me watching that video is we feel like we we're a part of that hunt, Excalibur. All the people at the factory making the bow, and then you and your family could go out and enjoy it and have a, a pretty special moment, father and son. And all like that's pretty cool for he, us. He's too. heard us talk about it so long on the show. Like here's a kid who's grown yeah. up with his dad on TV hunting, but he said to me that night at the cabin, Dad, do you think mom and my, my brother and sister will be excited that I'm feeding the family. Like yeah. right out of his mouth. And I, I'm like, buddy, they'll be so proud of you yeah, for feeding the family. He's 12. He's 12. Uh -oh. <laughs> it's pretty so. cute. So well, That's pretty cool. What, uh, what do you and your brothers got lined up this year? We got a pretty exciting year, actually. We, uh, we've been waiting a long time to, to get up and chase muskox again up in the north. So yeah. none of it will be up there. Uh, we have a couple moose tags in Newfoundland. Okay. Moose tag in, New, a good in New Brunswick. Um, Ontario has always been kind to us with big bears yeah. and uh, we got a couple big bucks that we're looking to chase and then Alberta we think we got uh, our hands on a mule deer tag this nice. year again so nice. hopefully a velvet muley. Okay that's pretty pretty awesome. Rob we're kind of fortunate right like you're from Canada we've known each other a long time our office if you will in the Canadian wilderness is pretty spectacular yeah. we're, we're pretty fortunate to film where we do. Plus you got where. a lot of local hunts with turkey and uh, whitetail and Turkey's bear. one of our favorite yeah. yeah. Well, I, I haven't shot a turkey uh, in a couple of years, so I might. Uh, well, you know, I might self-impose myself. Yeah, well, you're welcome anytime. And I know you got some young people at your house too, yeah. so if you want to bring one. Well, uh, unfortunately, my son's only five, so hey, it'll be, it'll whatever. Be, yeah. Paul, Paul shot a turkey last year with four of the blind, and the baby, the youngest was three. So. Oh my. Whatever. Well, Miles, he'll actually want to shoot, and I gotta let him know he needs a license. <laughs> Break his heart a little bit. Yeah, you won't quite understand that. But uh, anything else going on? You know what, we're just super grateful for, for people like you who support us. And then in turn, that allows everybody to watch free hunting television. Yeah. To do what we do as a family, to work with my brothers, yeah. um, to be able to support our family off something we love so much. But 
not just to do it as a living, to uh, to share it with the world, our, our story of hunting. Yeah. Not because it's us, because the world needs to hear the story more and more that yeah. hunting's an important part. You guys are fairly unique that you, you know, three brothers, you all hunt, you've got a hunting TV show, but you guys also have a, a really cool magazine. Yeah. Um, and also the, the Frau books, I believe it's called. Yeah, so that's what got us into the industry. We're, we're filming our 13th year of television, if you can believe that. And uh, But the five years before that, we started uh, an all-Ontario whitetail publication, which Caliber has been a supporter of for a long time. And um, the PA is going on here, might, might be speaking over me, but just talk loud. But the um, the record books are really cool. We we are kind of the I'm a big uh, fan of them. We're the keeper cool. of the record book. So it's it's the Boone and Crockett Pope and Young scoring system placed in Ontario so that we can keep a record. So it's gone on since the eighties. We're the keeper of it since 2004. I haven't told you this yet. We actually ran numbers on the last four record books, which spanned twenty years in the crossbow categories for turkey, deer, bear, and moose, 76% of Ontario animals shot with a crossbow with an Excalibur. Really? That's amazing. I'm not overly surprised because we have the best cult following customer base anyone could ask for, but that is pretty cool. You yeah. have a very loyal following up there. Yeah. I know I know it's spreading more and more by the year, but yeah. that's pretty neat to think three to four animals plus yeah. I'm shot with Excalibur, that, the crossbow no category. Day, that's Those very, are records. Those are just animals hunted. Those are the, the records. Yeah. So uh, I know Bill and Kath Trowbridge would be awfully They'd proud. They'd be very proud of that. Yeah, so we'll have to remember to tell them. Absolutely. But uh, I'm also a fan of the actual book itself. So if other people, if you guys haven't seen these books, they're really cool. Something you'd put in your, your gun room, your coffee table. Where would you get a copy if people wanted to get one? Most retailers in Southern Ontario carry them. It is an Ontario product, so we don't sell it elsewhere. Or, or the website at Frau or through, they can reach out to us. Yeah. But yeah, we, we print uh, print thousands of them each edition. It takes yeah. us three to four years of measuring to make the next edition. And it's literally 220 colored pages of minimum yeah. requirement reaching the record books yeah. for deer, bear, moose, and turkey in the province. So. Well, what I like about it is I'll look at previous uh, editions you guys had, and I can gauge what areas have produced more record book deer, what type of genetics. You can see patterns develop. Yeah. You can see where your best odds to find a turkey might be, uh, what part of northwestern Ontario's got more moose. So I use it almost as a study tool. You know, history doesn't lie. So you can actually use it to figure out where you can hunt to get best odds on success. Yep. So, you know, it's cool looking at big, big dead stuff and actually seeing the size, but you, you know, you can use these books for a lot more than just... Uh, I'm smiling because Rob has a beautiful bear hunting property. We won't tell you where it is, but privately, <laughs> And it's one of the, the main spots for big record skull bears Is coming it? out of the province. So. <laughs> I wouldn't know that yet. <laughs> we do all right there. Anyways, that's uh, that's great. Always a pleasure Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Appreciate everything Excalibur does for us and all the hunters yeah. out there. We get a lot of time in the woods because of you guys. So well, thank I'm you. looking forward to uh, watching some more of your shows and hearing the stories. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And stay tuned. I'm sure we'll have lots more come from the 2020 ATA.